Hi, I'm Jeff Coxwell, and today we're going to look at how to set up Visual Studio and the Intel compiler to give us our assembly output. That way later we'll be able to look at the assembly code generated by our vectorized loops and make sure it's as optimized as we would like. So I've got here some C++ code and I've got two loops in it and you can see earlier when I compiled it I've got a message here that the loop was vectorized and the other loop was vectorized. The, the loops that were not vectorized were down inside the, the runtime library. Uh, but the loops that are in my code were indeed vectorized. So let's set this up. Uh, click on Project and then the Properties. And go to Output Files. And up at the top here you'll see Assembler Output. And let's do the, the last one. Assembly, Machine Code, and Source. And down at the bottom, next we have to go down to Command Line. And we have to add on an optional command line, otherwise it just doesn't seem to work. Slash capital S, make sure it's capital. And click Apply, OK. And now we can rebuild. We'll do a full clean on it. And then Build Solution. Now we're going to get an error at the end. Uh, in this case, we got a segmentation violation. Sometimes we just get an error that it wouldn't link. Uh, that's okay. The reason is it's not generating the object files at this point, and it still tries to run the linker. And so as a result, it, it just fails. Now let's go over to our command prompt here. And go down into the x64 release directory. And you can see right here we've got a .cod file. I'm going to open that. I've got an external editor here I'm going to use. And we'll make this a little bigger so we can see it. And I'm going to turn on the line numbers. Now you can see this is a really big file. And the reason is it's got all the compiled code for the header files that were also included by our code for this for this uh, code module. Uh, the code that we wrote, though, uh, we can see that each of these somewhere output has the actual source code line, and that's going to be a big help in trying to match up our our loops with the assembly code. And if we scroll down quite a bit. We can see that it goes about the first 800 or so lines is our assembly code. And really that's it. Uh, you can see in here it's also got the actual machine bytes, which really isn't that important to us right now, but it does have the assembly code, the op codes, and the parameters matched up to the line numbers. And so next time we'll dig a little deeper into this file and check out our vectorized loops and find out what's really happening.